All right, everyone, this is David again with Royal, and today I'm going to show you how you can simplify your digital life using Outlook 2016 with Office 365. So I'm just going to pull up Outlook 2016. And the first feature I'm going to go over is calendar sharing. So what is calendar sharing? Calendar sharing allows you to know what is always going on with your coworkers, your boss, your assistant, assuming they put it on their calendar, right? So you will actually be able to see our coworkers calendars with this calendar sharing feature. So I'm actually going to share my calendar with someone else in my organization. Let's share this with Joel. So I just typed Joel into my address bar, pulls up Joel's name. Now I'm going to give Joel full details of my calendar so he'll be able to see my calendar just as I see it on his desktop and on his devices. I'm also going to click here which allows me to request permission to view Joel's calendar as well so uh, let's say we're planning a meeting or something um, not only can he see my availability I can see his as well from here it's that simple I'm just gonna hit send I'm going to confirm that we're we're giving Joel full details full permissions and that's it he's got my calendar now he'll, he'll click accept and as soon as he accepts on his end I will also have access to his calendar now Trina's been gracious, gracious enough to uh, share her calendar with me and I'm going to go ahead and pull up her calendar just so that you guys can see what this looks like. So I'm going to go type Trina's name. I know that she's shared this with me already and boom, here's your calendar right here. You've got all of her appointments. I can even go in and let's say I need to join this meeting with her on the 30th. I have access to this meeting. Very simple. So that's pretty much calendar sharing in a nutshell. Now if I am tired of looking at Trina's calendar, I can just go ahead and close it out. And that's it, you're all set. Uh, so the next feature I'll go over, which is another uh, time saving kind of productivity enhancing feature is the notes feature. This is not new to Outlook, but uh, is kind of cool with Office 365 because these notes sync across all of your devices. So. I've got a note here saying to upload this webinar to YouTube and post it on the blog. I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes here and show you how easy it is. It's gonna go ahead and save that just from clicking the X here. It's going to automatically save. You can see that all the information uh, has been saved and that's it. Again, it syncs across all your devices. Now you've got all your notes in one place um, within your Outlook. So let's go back to email here. I will go ahead and show you one more cool feature. Now this is exclusive to Outlook 2016. And let's say we want to quickly share a file with someone. Uh, let's say that we want to share this logo, our logo, Royal Discount. I want to quickly share this with Trina. So I just saved that image going to create a new email to Trina now ordinarily you'd have to go find that logo when you click the paperclip button now with Office 365 Outlook 2016 again you can simply click here and wow look the logo is right there amazing I just saved the whole 30 seconds but you know that 30 seconds can be important so here we go, it's saved. All I would have to do would be to send that. I'm sure she's got eight copies of this logo already, so I'm not gonna send it to her. But it's as simple as that. So maybe you're already up to speed on some of these things. Maybe you're already using Office 365, but here's one cool feature um, that I know is gonna save you some time. So let's, let's create a rule here to basically clean up your inbox folder. So we don't want it all going to inbox, we want to kind of organize our inbox uh, and, and clean that up that crazy looking inbox that some of you might have. Okay, no, for those of you who do have crazy looking inboxes, it's not impressive that you have 100 emails per day going to one unorganized folder in your inbox. I'm going to show you how to fix that, it's really simple. I'm going to go ahead and create a folder here just right click on your inbox, select new folder, and uh, let's say I want to organize all my TechSmith emails. So actually I'll just call this TechSmith. 
every time that I get a TechSmith email, I want it to go into the TechSmith folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a rule. Now a rule is kind of like an automatic um, rule, I guess you would call it, that runs every time an email comes in. So I'm going to go to rules, I'm going to create a new rule. And I'm going to say every time I get an email from TechSmith, it's going to go into the TechSmith folder. So I'm going to right click, or I'm going to left click here, I'm going to select TechSmith, OK. I could even do if the subject contains TechSmith, but it does require that they are all selected conditions. So, you know, this is an and statement. It would be from TechSmith and contains the subject TechSmith, which might not, not always be the case. So you really got to be careful here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to ask us if we want to run the rule. The rule TechSmith has been created. Run this rule from now on so that it goes through our inbox and runs the rule. And boom, there it is. It was that simple. So now all of my TechSmith emails will automatically populate in my TechSmith folder. That's all, folks. This is David with Royal, and I just showed you how to simplify your digital life. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, david at royaldiscount.com, or give us a call at 1-877-292-7712. Thanks.